Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving equivalent dose. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says that a worker in a nuclear power station receives an absorbed dose of 400 milligrays from slow neutrons. Calculate the equivalent dose. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find H. We note the absorbed dose D is 400 milligrays, but we have to convert that into grays first, so this becomes 400 times 10 to the minus 3 grays. And we're also told in the question that we're dealing with slow neutrons. So what we have to do is look at the table of radiation weighting factors on the data sheet, and from the data sheet we should be able to see that slow neutrons has a radiation weighting factor of 3. So we can then write down our equation. We have H equals DWR. Substituting in the numbers gives us 400 times 10 to the minus 3 times 3, which gives as a final answer of 1.2 sieverts. Question 2 says that an industrial worker receives an equivalent dose of 200 micro sieverts. Determine the absorbed dose if they are exposed to alpha particles. Well, writing down what we know from the question, we are trying to find D this time. We know that H is 200 micro sieverts, and we need to rewrite that in sieverts, so this becomes 200 times 10 to the minus 6 sieverts. And lastly, we're told that we're dealing with alpha particles in this question, so again, just like in question 1, we need to look at the data sheet, and we should find that the radiation weighting factor for alpha particles is 20. So writing down our equation, we have H equals DWR. Rearranging for D, we can divide both sides by WR, so we get D equals H over WR. Substituting in the numbers gives us 200 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 20, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 1 times 10 to the minus 5 grays. Lastly, question 3 says that a radioactive source emits radiation which is absorbed by a person of 100 kilograms. The absorbed dose is 0.05 grays, and the equivalent dose is 500 millisieverts. Part A says what is the radiation weighting factor? Well, writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find WR. We know the equivalent dose H is 500 millisieverts, which we need to convert into sieverts first, so this becomes 500 times 10 to the minus 3 sieverts, and the absorbed dose D is 0.05 grays. So writing down our equation, we have H equals DWR. Rearranging this time for WR, we can divide both sides by D, so we get WR equals H over D, and substituting in the numbers gives us 500 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0.05, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 10. Part B says which type of radiation is involved here? Well, because we now know its radiation weighting factor, we can now just go to the table of radiation weighting factors on the data sheet, just like we did in questions 1 and 2, and we should see from the data sheet that the radiation weighting factor of 10 is given for fast neutrons. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.